please welcome Janice Remnand, wherever she is, right? there she is. How is everybody doing? Ooh, what a great crowd. Before I start, I wanted to say I'm, I'm feeling a little under the weather. I'm, I, I tore my rotator cuff like a couple months ago, and they put me on steroids, and I'm like puffy and bloated, and I can't stop eating, and my penis is smaller. <laughs> I know, that, I know, I know, that's really kind of crazy. I, I know, I know, my, my penis isn't smaller. That's just stupid. But I am puffy and bloated. I know, I'm too sorry. She feels bad for me, because maybe she won't get lucky, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, they said, and I am Janice, and I am from Hawaii. So aloha. Aloha. That was pretty good, you guys. But listen, over here, I was a little shy here. Listen, I know you guys are a little small, but mighty, and that's the same crap I tell my husband every night. So try it again. Aloha. aloha. That stuff works, that shit works, ladies. That works, thank you, what a great group. Like I said, I am from Hawaii, the ghettos of Hawaii to be more Pacific. <laughs> See, and everybody always laughs at my pain. They're like, Hawaii, ghettos, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Isn't that paradise? A coconut fall on your head? A really bad sunburn? A little too much sunshine in paradise for you? It's hard being from Hawaii. First of all, where do we go on vacation? San Diego. San Diego. This is an audience participation. I don't know if you got that memo. <laughs> and then they're wrong. Yeah, oh, oh, oh hey. Well, I'm gonna like, have her, her peeps beat me up or something. She's all, she's all ghetto. It is now. Ghetto girl from Hawaii. I'm ghetto girl from San Diego. It is now. No wonder you're outspoken, because she's got your back. Oh, I don't even care. I know Samoans. That's right. That's right. Bring it on. And let me tell you something. I know Samoan jokes. I don't even do Samoan jokes, because I want to live. <laughs> that's right. That's right. The Samoans are my friends. Actually, you guys, I am actually, you know, do I do miss my home, because Hawaii is a beautiful place, even though I was from the hood. Hawaii is a melting pot of many ethnicities, and so is my family. We're more like a boiling pot sometimes. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not kidding you guys, we're everything. We're Portuguese, American, Indian, Irish, French, Spanish, Hawaiian, Chinese, Filipino, Pekingese, and a little Chihuahua. Just a little, you know, my uncle's side with the ears. You know, my mom, she had that aloha spirit. She said no to no one. <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. I don't judge. She just thought that her children should be all the colors of the rainbow. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and yeah, she's like choking on not even like a fruit fruit drink, like an orange spritzer. Is the orange? Is it? I mean, nothing like sitting up front choking and then having attention. Hi, Lick. No, it's not even. I don't even know. I don't know how to do it. She's out of luck. They don't teach us that in the ghettos. They're like, good luck, sucker. We have too many kids to care, right? She's like, my mom's ghetto. No, trust me. I am so. Why in the hell? I have four kids. Why did t somebody tell me they have to eat every day? I should have got like a snake. That's like once a week. I'm like, what you ate yesterday? I, when I was growing up, I didn't eat every day. We're like, oh, hungry mom, I'm hungry. She's like, we're out of food stamps. What you like me to go ask Ronald, Ronald Reagan for some more cheese? It's like, who's Ronald Reagan? Is he's Ronald McDonald's cousin. What's going on here? More cheese? I don't even understand that. She's so ghetto. I love her though. Anyway, like I said, it is hard though being from Hawaii. You know, I do live in the mainland now. And I do miss my family. Like I said, we're multi-ethnic. And I have to be honest, from all my Asian relatives, I love the Filipinos the most. Because they're the most outgoing from all the Asians, right? You, have you ever taken them karaoke singing? You got that one? Yes, yes, you got that one Filipino friend. He's come, the name is Kami Fernando. And you can't get the microphone back because they won't stop singing. Right? And they do a good job, you guys. Okay, they do. They sing with feeling and emotion. And they sing on key. But it's a little distracting because they don't talk regular like me. They have that accent. Yeah. Right? Right? I remember the high school talent show. <laughs> Mahalo Nui Lua for joining us. And now, coming to the stage is Manny Padilao doing feelings. 
First of all, I'd like to thank my mother and my father for giving me the singing lessons. And for the school for inviting me to sing. This is for you. Peeling. Nothing more than peeling. Trying to forget my feelings of love. Till today, I don't know what that freaking song is about. Is it about a sunburn? What's peeling? I don't even know. I don't even know. Horrible. You know, and I'm confused, and I live in the mainland now, like I said, and I try to fit in. And, but every now, now and then, I do things different. You know, like, um, let's give an example. Oh, I don't know. Let's say, let's say you. Well, you're young. Let's say you. Let's say you want to find one of your, find, you know, your former high school classmates. You might look on you know, com or uh, my face or my space. I don't even know what that is. Tweet my twat, twat, tweet, tweet, tweet. I don't even tweet her. I don't know how to tweet her. I don't know what that is. I'm not even, I, I, my kids think I'm ignorant because I don't understand the internet and all the horrors of it, right? Something's twittering, I don't know. But you might look on classmates.com. Me, I got a watchdog, the bounty hunter. I know, like last week I was just watching, I'm like, in a crackhead being arrested. Is that Mommy Lomi Pawai? She was in my PE class. She could run. I guess not fast enough. You know how hard it is to have a high school reunion when all your friends stay in jail? She might know the one that tried to call me out over there. Don't act like you're eating your steak now. San Diego. Anyway, it's hard, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. You can't bring in any alcoholic beverages. You keep bumping your head on a glass when you're trying to dance with your partner. Shoot, and you have to strip off all your clothes before you see your date. Don't judge, I don't judge, right? Remember prom night, don't even act. Anyway, it's hard. And you know, people don't understand my pain. And you know, you know what else is, sucks about being poor in paradise? Besides being poor in paradise, that kind of sucked, is playing the dad game. Do you remember the dad game, you guys? A couple of the guys, no, all the guys probably played it on the playground, the dad game. Some of the rough titter girls, that's like a ghetto girl in Hawaiian, they might have played it. You know the game that you're on the playground, you're like, eh, my dad's better than your dad. You're like, well, my dad's bigger than your dad. Well, my dad can kick your dad's ass. Remember that game? You know what really sucks? It's playing it with your brothers and sisters. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Yeah. I remember me and my sister Sharon were like, "Ew!" She's like, "Ew, what? What? My dad's better than your dad." I'm like, "Well, my dad's bigger than th your dad." She's like, "Well, my dad can kick your dad's ass." And then my mom would come along and put an end to that argument in only that special way my mom could. We're like, "Emma, hey, whose dad's better?" She's like, "What? What? What? Sharon's dad? Sharon's dad was a no good son of a bitch who never liked to go to work. And your dad? Your dad was a big drunken dope addict that beat the shit out of me and her dad." And I'd be like, "Told you." <laughs> I won the dad game. That's right. That's right. Look, I love you guys are all laughing and, you know, all these fun, having fun. And then we have some of the cute young girls, like here. And she's like, ah, I'm so cute and young. I'm not laughing at that middle-aged lady. <laughs> I'm too cool. I'm going to give you a public service announcement, honey. Let me tell you something. Don't ever take yourself too serious because this is your future. And it ain't pretty. <laughs> and she's all sitting there. There is no way I am letting myself go like that heifer. Yes, you will. <laughs> Trust me and ask my husband. I didn't start out this way, darling. Mm -mm. Anyway, enough about me and all my beauty. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Anyway, like I said, you guys, I do miss my home a lot every now and then. Extra a lot. And that's a Hawaiian word. Um, Means more, means it's more than a lot. Lani Kula Mali. Anyway, I'm bilingual. So, um, I know. So anyway, I do, and, and when I do, and that's why I like getting my nails done. Because being surrounded by Asian people making me, you know, you know laughing at me, <laughs> feels like I'm back at home on my island with my family and friends. You know, and I, I love going in there. They really do take me back, getting my nails done. It sounds like my sister's, because she's from that um, Indian tribe, my mom said, uh, China. 
my dad's chopped on. She's okay. So anyway, oh, my mom's a winner. So here's the point. Like me. So no, I like getting my nails done, and I love their accent. But I got this one nail lady, Lonnie. She'll like call me up, and she tries to talk hip with that accent because like maybe somebody told her I was from the hood. I don't even know because you can't really tell. So she calls me. That's not funny. So she calls me up because I have class. But anyway, so she calls me up and she's like this. Hey, girlfriend, get Lonnie. When you come get your nail done, girlfriend, you never come on time. <laughs> so I go in, no pressure. And no, they re they're so sweet. They're so happy to see you. They're like, oh, never see a long time. How your four kids doing? I'm like, my kids are doing great. You know, never see a long time means you cheap bitch. But anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. I speak Konkatong. I don't even know what they speak. Vietnamese, whatever. I don't care. So... So she goes, you want to get the pedicure? Because now we have a choice. I'm like, yeah, pedicure. I will come in for the pedicure. Because like, now we have a choice. You have the spa pedicure or the oriental spa pedicure for five dollar more. And I'm like, um, the oriental spa pedicure. I thought I was having the oriental because you're. I don't even know the pedicure, but right. So I'm like, well, what's in the oriental spa pedicure? Oh, oh, that one come with the salty scrub and the hot rock treatment for five dollar more. I'm like hot rock treatment. Sounds good. Ah, that kid's no need to eat lunch tomorrow. Give me the Oriental hot spa pedicure. She's like, oh, well, you have a really good feet. I'm like, ah, thank you. And I'm like so happy, you guys, because I have like really big Flintstone feet because we don't wear shoes in Hawaii. And I'm thinking maybe it's my ankles. And I'm like so standing up. And she's like, yeah, you have a really good feet. Now I'm going to fit your nail. And I don't need you to spread out because your toes already spread like this. <laughs> I was like, listen, bitch, I will never feed the children in Vietnam. And not only that, if I wanted to be like, you know, put down, I could have been home with my mother-in-law. And I, she goes, I go, whatever. And then all I was thinking was, thank God she's not my gynecologist. Because I could see it now. Nice to see you. Never see a long time. How your four kid doing? Oh, they're doing good. Thank you. You come sit on the table. Come sit on the table. Um, um, yeah. Can I have the um, the paper, the sanitary, the tissue, to, the, the the germs? That oh, you want the sanitary paper? That's a five dollar more. <laughs> Put it on my tab, bitch. She goes, oh, and now you have a really good area. I, you know, I, thank you. I had four kids, and I thought I was, I didn't know. I just, I, you have a really good area, because now I'm going to examine you, and I don't need you to spread out. <laughs> I know, oh, shit. I know, he feels my pain. Anyway, I'm almost need to go now because I am having too many memories and flashbacks. But here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, like games I used to play when we were growing up. It's kind of like the games you guys, we played hide and go seek, but it was a little different. My mom and dad would hide us in the closet and nobody would seek. <laughs> I know it's pretty tragic and it was worse for me. But anyway, um, listen guys, you guys have been amazing and I only have a couple of minutes left. And anybody who knows me knows I can't get to the point in a couple of minutes. Much less get the job done. In fact, the only person I know that, that can get the job done in a couple of minutes is my husband. <laughs> Mahalo Nui Lo, you guys have been great. I love you guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Buhaha. Enjoy the rest of the show. Give it going for Janice Remlin. Wow, that's pretty funny. I'll never look at those little spreader things again the same. Thank you for the visual, Janice. I appreciate it.